Good morning. It's Friday and it's the weekend of the NPC Women's Clinic. I'm gonna leave for the airport here in about an hour and I haven't packed yet, so I'm gonna show you what goes in my suitcase. For this trip, it's not a suitcase. It is a big bag. Leaving today, Friday, and then we're coming home Monday, so there's no reason that I need a big suitcase. First on the agenda, Brandy says hi, my pajamas. One packing tip I do is I put everything into little bags that saves room and it keeps your clothes, I guess, fresh. Sometimes I'll put a dryer sheet in the bag if it's a longer trip, but this is a short trip and then I can easily see it and I reuse these bags. So I probably use this bag already on 10 trips. I hate wasting things. So that's pajamas. And then I'm gonna go through every day so you can see how I fit everything in here. Because I travel a lot and I like to think I'm a good packer. I'm very light packer, very, very light. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, so the second thing I'm gonna add to the bag is this little dog, Luna. She comes with me everywhere I go. I just put her in the bag and um, she stays pretty quiet. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Luna says hi. Okay, so um, in all seriousness, what's next? We've got Friday. When we get to Phoenix, we are gonna go meet up with Casey and her group is doing a retreat and I am just going to wear this my airport outfit. It's only two hour flight, so I should be pretty good to go. Put on a little perfume. Let me show you what perfume I'm bringing. This is my favorite scent of all time. This is Prada Candy. This is actually a really cool thing that my mother-in-law got me. She knows how I like to pack light. So it's just a little refillable perfume thing. So that, I take this every day, just so I have a little thing to freshen up. Okay, so we have the pajamas, we have Friday night's outfit, and then Saturday morning, we have the boot camp with Whitney Jones and some other pros. It's going to be, I don't know what it's gonna be, so I'll let you, you'll see soon what it's gonna be. So for that, I'm gonna wear this super cute outfit. I just had Jordan um, from ACDPs make it for me on Monday. I'm really obsessed. I've been showing everyone. I love this blue color on me. It really pops. And then it's got this cute backless top. So on this, again, I'm just gonna roll it up. And I'm gonna stick it in this same bag. And then Saturday during the day, I'm gonna wear my signature dress. <laughs> Cause I just love it and um, it's kind of like I'm a cartoon character sometimes, you know, that wear the same thing because I wear this dress a lot. It's gotten a lot of use out of it. I don't care if people see me in the same outfit twice, three times, four times, five times, six times. I am a minimalist and I don't want tons of outfits. I just want simple go-to outfits. Speaking of go-to outfits, for Saturday evening, I have a basic nude dress with these ruching. Again, I've worn this so many times. Um, but it's pretty basic, so you can wear it over and over again. And then this is actually the first time I've ever wearing these shoes. I got this for a great deal. Uh, they're Vince Commuto. I got them at DSW and they were like on extra clearance. I don't know why they're adorable, but I love them. I am such a bargain shopper. I'm from the Midwest and we like to brag about that. So I'm going to brag about this. These were $150 shoes I got for $14. Okay, so we've got Saturday taken care of. Now, Sunday, we have a podcast with Celeste. And for that, I'm going pretty casual. I'm bringing some basic jean shorts because it is Arizona and I know the low is 38, but I, and the high is 58, and I can deal with cold weather uh, very, very well. And that hasn't always been the case. I've been doing cryo consistently for a year and a half now, as well as cold plunges and cold showers. And so that makes me be able to withstand the cold 
38 is not cold. Okay, so for Sunday, I'm gonna pack this. And then after Celeste thing, Celeste is, why do I, Celeste is, Celeste, Celeste is, Celeste, let me know, but, okay, I'm done trying to say her name. She's amazing. She's doing a podcast party for her podcast because it reached 10 million downloads, something like that. So then after, we're gonna work out. So I have a little sports bra and these Angel Active shorts that I really love. And I'm actually wearing the leggings version right now. They are so comfortable. I'm so picky with um, leggings and I'm just really picky with fabric in general. I have this thing, it's like the fear of cotton, signalophobia. <laughs> this, okay, you're probably thinking I'm kidding, but I actually have this legit fear, uh, Google fear of cotton balls. That's what I have. Uh, it's not super bad. I haven't had nightmares about it in a while, but when I was a kid, I definitely had lots of nightmares about cotton balls, like eating me and consuming me, suffocating me. I just cannot stand the sound of them pulling apart. Um, it's a weird quirk and it doesn't really affect my life. So, you know, I could go through like exposure therapy to help me deal with it, but there's really no reason because cotton balls aren't gonna do anything. Anyways, wow, I just started rambling. Okay, so anyways, I am very picky with clothes and these, see, normal leggings, I think if they, they're not super soft, I could not do this. I had to quiet the dogs down. Okay, outfit for Sunday. We put it all in the same bag. And then just squeeze it. Squeeze all the air out of it. And it packs perfectly. I love these purple bags. They're so Brody. Brody is um okay, so all right. The mailman, let's go see. The mailman is trying to kill me, you guys. That's what's going on. The mailman is gonna come in my house and he's gonna stick a knife straight into my heart. Right, Brody? But because Brody's here, I am completely safe. Brody guards my life. Luna, what are you doing on the table? What are you doing on the table? Hey. You aren't supposed to be on there. She knows she's not supposed to be on the table. Okay, <laughs> look at this. My brother-in-law got me this. Isn't this the best thing you've ever seen in your entire life? Okay, now I need to go show you Penny Poo. Oh, my Penny Poo. Penny, oh, oh my gosh, wait. Look at my Penny Poo. Oh, I love her so much. She is humongous, and there's Luna for context of how big Penny is. I love my dogs so much. Yes, I love you, I love you, I love you. Okay. And I can pack in under 20 minutes, even taking little breaks to play with my dogs. And I don't say that to brag, I say that because a lot of times people always talk about traveling, how it's stressful, like, oh my gosh, I gotta pack, I gotta pack. Don't overthink it. Just do it. And I will say it gets easier the more times you do it because you have a system built up. So along with the system, makeup all goes in one clear plastic bag. I've got my Radiant eyeshadow palette. I have mascara. So just have the basics. Foundation, mascara, brow stuff, one color of lip gloss, and then moisturizer, eyeliner, and that's it. With this eyeshadow palette from Radiant, I use, there's a pink color in there, here I'll show you, that I use for cheeks. So I have my blush that I use there. And then it has highlighter. I, I don't use this only on the eyes. And then for makeup wipes, I don't wanna carry around that whole thing. So I just put however many I need in a plastic bag and that keeps them moist. So this is my facial cleanser at the end of the night. And then I have my toothbrush and toothpaste. I bring my entire electric toothbrush because I am obsessed with all things oral care. Can't live without this. And if I could brush my teeth 20 times a day, I would, but that's not really, I guess, socially acceptable. Okay, and then this is something that I use. It's a tackle box, but I actually use this every single day. And this has any type of medicine that I ever need. So in here, 
I have like this liver support thing. I have my Zoloft. I take 100 milligrams Zoloft every day because it helps the, let's see, I was prescribed it for insomnia, but it really helps the obtrusive thoughts. So it just keeps my mind clear. Um, it is an antidepressant, but it, I mean, so quick thing about Zoloft. Before Zoloft, a lot of times when I went to Zo uh, yoga, I would make the intention be like, okay, I just want to be happy. I just want to be happy. It was hard for me to be happy. But post Zoloft, I started Zoloft about five years ago, post Zoloft, I never ever make that intention in yoga because I just naturally am happy. And I find myself thinking, wow, I am so happy right now. And that never happened pre Zoloft. I was always just like in my head with obtrusive thoughts, ruminating, not all the time, but Zoloft has helped. And it obviously doesn't help me focusing on what I'm trying to tell you because I'm talking about packing and now I'm going down a mental health route. So anyways, that's just how I am. And then I have GTA, which is a thyroid supplement that my natural path doctor put me on that I really like. And then I have iodine as well for a natural thyroid helper because my thyroid got a little bit low. I think for my last prep, I have some sleep aid in here. I have allergy medicine. I have Dramamine, anything you need. Oh, and then I have these little like two things that I love, uh, toothpicks, not toothpicks, but the kind that clean your gums out. And then I have socks and underwear in, well, I'm gonna put them in the Saturday bag. And then these shoes take up a lot of room, but I really like them. So these shoes are a must. And I still have plenty of room in here. Like I can fit so much more. And then for food for the weekend, I like to eat my own food if I have the opportunity for several reasons. One, it saves time when you're traveling because there's so many things to do, see people to meet, places to explore. And food isn't something, I know this is, um, minority speaking here. Food is not something that I really want to go like explore on trips. I would rather explore locations, you know, try to be outside, meet people, the culture. And so anyways, that's the first reason. Second reason, it saves a lot of money. This whole thing is probably uh, $15 worth of food. And that would be less than one meal if I did all eating out. And three, this is probably the most important, and it's something that my new lifestyle coach, reverse coach, bodybuilding coach, I don't know what to call her, but Gracie has taught me, when you're traveling, I, I used to get, you know, traveler's constipation, I would get tired easy, and things like that. So if you have all your food that you know your body likes, and you eat that, you're gonna feel amazing on trips. You probably don't even need caffeine, um, I, I like to think of energy as, you know, if I f wake up in the day and I feel immediately like, oh, I need caffeine. Hmm. Why do I need caffeine? Is it a mental thing? Do I just think I need caffeine? Is it actually a true need? If it is, am I in a calorie deficit? So on prep, feeling that way is normal, but when you're not in prep, I personally do not think you should wake up feeling like, oh, I need caffeine look at your diet and some things that I have done to help me feel more energized with my food this year is I am lowering my fiber. I was eating close to 70 grams of fiber a day and when I really tracked it meticulously, that is too much. This is my year of less because for a long time I always thought more is better, more is better, but more a lot of times this works. What I mean by that, protein. 140 grams of protein is what I need. Is more better? Probably not. Why don't I eat carbs instead? So more is less, or whatever I was saying. The year of less. And more onto that. So steps. Is more steps better? No. Why do I need 10,000 steps a day? I'm shooting for 7,000 right now because more cardio, more steps, more movement is not always better. 
especially when I'm really trying to build muscle. So I know it's hard to tell, but I, I've been really trying to build muscle and I feel like I've gained a little bit. Um, so when I say like more is better, or I can't even get, see, I need less. I need less, I bet too many thoughts up here. I need more energy for my lifts. So if I save my energy and just go all out on my lifts, that will promote more muscle growth. Anyways, what's in here? Got 20 grams, I have four of these. So this is 20 grams of cereal. And then I have four of these, which these are frozen bars that I make. If you like to see how I make these, comment below and I'll make a video showing my oatmeal bars. Uh, they have chia seeds, flax seeds, and they're very, give me a lot of energy. And then I have four little things of protein powder because you know, why do I have four of everything? Because I was thinking of this trip, I was like, okay, I'm leaving Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. But really, I'm leaving Friday afternoon and leaving Monday morning. So I packed, I overpacked food, and I know that. So I might not even take all of this. So I have four little things of, and see, it's just all in here. You can fit a lot in these things. Four of these, and I have eight 22 gram uh, pumpkin seed packs. So I buy them in bulk, and then I put them in these little bags, and I reuse these bags over and over and over again and they're really nice. I don't waste, don't waste anything. Reuse things as much as possible. This is something that Ashley Kaltwasser taught me. So Ashley, I know you're probably not watching because you have so many other things to do, but thank you. That girl doesn't waste anything. When I went to Europe with her, it was inspiring. I would like be like, oh, I think I'm done with, with this. And there'd be like a teeny, teeny, tiny bit. And you throw it in the trash and she goes, don't waste that. It's, I, I feel like it's kind of a Midwest thing because Ashley's from Ohio. We don't waste, <laughs> we, we bargain. Um, so thanks Ashley for teaching me no waste. Okay, so I have eight of these. because I love pumpkin seeds, high in fiber, high in protein, um, healthy fat, healthy carbs, and they're really convenient. And just no one else eats these, but I eat them all the time. Okay, um, and then I have four sandwiches made with peanut butter and jelly. I am using the one of my favorite breads of all time. It's cinnamon raisin bread with just PB&J. And then I have um, some oatmeal packets. I have these um, cookie crisp packets new. I haven't tried them yet, but I like to travel with oatmeal because it's filling. And what else do I have? Oh, I have some little chocolates that I brought. This looks kind of like junk food, but it's, it's really not. Oh, speaking of not junk food, so, um, I have four packets of freeze dried peas and believe it or not, this is enough for about 3000 calories for three days. And uh, right now I'm not on 3000 calories yet. Hopefully soon I can get there, but right now I'm just a little over 2000 calories. And my new lifestyle coach is trying to have me not say calories anymore. So right now I'm about 230 carbs, 60 fat and 140 protein. And I'm really feeling great on that and hoping we can increase it. Just, I just want to be as much as possible, move as little as possible. So when I prep again, I'm in a really good place to just cut fat. And that is my food. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode because I went really long on showing you my packing tips and my food tips. I really hope this helped. Um, let me know below if you want me to do more of these, talking about a uh, minimalist lifestyle, which looking at me in the background, you're like, that girl's not a minimalist. I've got, what is this? I just have, room. this is, oh, I'm kind of sad. I mean, I'm gonna have so much fun this weekend, but my, little, she's not my niece, but she's almost like my niece. My friend's daughter is turning four. So I got her this cute like scientist gift. She's a scientist. Um, but Drew's gonna go and give her this. Um, anyways, back to being a minimalist. I'm trying this year because last year I, anyways, I don't need to get into it, but 2023, the year of less. And with that, we are out.